right, first clip of week three. There's 85 thieving taken care of. Last requirement for uh, for any quest. 85 thieving for pieces of hate. All right, first engineering unlock. Scroll of dexterity. And there's efficient crafting. So there is 66 rune crafting from today's rune sphere. Now we can go to the top floor, though I can't really go anywhere on the top floor. Had a long, productive day of DG crafting, up to 67 Dungeoneering, got that scroll of cleansing earlier, and there's 67 crafting taken care of. Starting to stock up on tokens, up to 32,000. Gold is 151,000 before I can start doing anything that isn't DG, so got a while to go. Oh yeah, I thought I should mention that today was like a 2.8 mil XP day across about 10 hours, which is just insane in terms of XP an hour. But I guess that's what you get when you're doing Dungeoneering, which is really good overall XP. And then I did all of that thieving earlier today. Alright, there's 70 Divination. Now we can start gathering those fragments too, and that's most of the way to 80. So I had a pretty long day on stream uh, doing some DG crafting, up to 73 Dungeoneering, 70 crafting. Let's uh, hand in this pure energy, bam, pick up a level there, and uh, if you check out my nice feather stack here, just uh, use that and also pick up a fletching level. That feels nice. Well, I had been putting this off because it feels pretty slow in terms of like XP an hour, but Oak oh, Cape Racks daily done for 22k con. And let's get back some teaks maybe? Oh, mahoganies. That's uh, that's actually really nice. So yeah, in terms of XP an hour, that, that actually isn't bad now that I got those uh, 100 mahoganies back. And 57 con out of the way. So since I have the tokens already uh, built up, I'm going to go ahead and buy the Bone Crusher right here and scroll through get the split dragon tooth necklace and bam oh i need prayer of 60 to access that huh well all oh, right i'll uh, i'll wait till 60 pray i do have my uh, my weeklies and monthlies to take care of right now but well that's a pain uh anyway after that i'll be left with like 28k tokens so 72k to go did a little bit of range training so that this will go into summoning and Bam, that was 45 to 49, and uh, part of the way to 50. So today is weekly reset, been running around doing that stuff, and there is the second statue complete. What is that, 75 HP, 80 HP, not even close, baby! You know how this whole uh, starting room has food in it? Yeah, picking up that food, that's for chumps, and ferrets are also for chumps. Oh wow, a 70 magic from finishing up this boss fight, and even though I died on the first attempt, um, bam, click that, level 75 dungeoneering. So that's uh, two big levels back to back. So I've opted to uh, not actually buy the other monthly reset I have access to today. Uh, because spending 1 mil to only get like 34,000 XP is not worth it. Um, it'd be like 24k construction and, uh, I don't know, 10k prayer or something like that. I don't have the 5th god statue unlocked. And, uh, yeah, that, that really kind of hurts the XP per GP uh, ratio. So, yeah, not doing that. But I will be doubling up my troll invasion. Alright, so seeing as the experience you gain from things like penguin points and troll invasions scale up as you get more levels. I'm gonna use the first of my penguin points now. So there's uh, 22 penguin points straight into Herbalore and BAM! 48,000 XP drop. There's three levels. Nice. I can now do Fairy Tale Part 2. That's actually a really big one. Uh, so I think I might go run a few quests like My Arms and uh, yeah, Fairy Tale Part 2 just to get a little bit more Herbalore XP. Then use my weekly reset on penguins after I collect the remaining few points I have. Then do my troll invasion and my second troll invasion. Also, I'm now up to the point where I have four bad daily challenges, so that means every single day I'm hopefully getting something a little bit better than these. 
Oh, and in case anyone's wondering, yes, I know I'm missing one of the penguins, and I will be using the weekly reset regardless of that penguin. Uh, it's just because it's got kind of high quest requirements, if I remember right, getting to the Shadow Realm and then actually finding it. I'm, I'm not worried about a few points, it's uh, just a few thousand Herbler XP. Uh, getting the, the large majority of the Herbler XP, though, that's important to me. Hey, what do you know? First time on the top floor, and another level. 68. So I've gotten really tired of checking on my rabbits, and I feel like I'm running out of food to, to uh, keep feeding them, so... Yeah. Alright, here's the last herb patch unlocked, and a farming level. Ta-da! And now I no longer need that Draymond staff. Uh, oh, wow. 86 thieving off of that. Uh, didn't expect that, but okay. Did a little bit of thieving earlier today uh, to make a little bit of GP. And yeah, there's the level. So to start out today, I've got eight and a half hours to reset to do about nine to ten hours of grinding. Let's see how much of this list I can get done. Almost forgot to record that. 59 mining, but actually 1,600 total level. And there's the god emissaries taken care of just so I can get 50 ranged taken care of. Let's pop that and, oh, actually 51. Nice. And that guarantees my uh, Tears of Guthix into summoning. Actually, summoning is now my last skill below 50. And it's almost there. There's lunar diplomacy done. Got a little bit of XP. Astral's lunar set. That's good. Most importantly, access to uh, Baba Yaga. And uh, there is Cabin Fever done. So I now have access to Mostly Harmless for Cave Horrors. That's a uh, Slayer task I want to do pretty soon. Alright, there's a great Brain Robbery done. Prayer level, and uh, use this on Herbler. Bam. And there's Salt in the Wound complete. Big XP drop. 61 defense. 50 summoning. Okay. And uh, yeah, 59 Herblore. Here's a few Penguin points into Herblore. Just shy of level 60. Alright. Here's another Herblore level, right? Yep. 61. Alright, first time doing Troll Invasion. Let's get that XP. Boom! 29,500. Alright, next level off of the reset token. Bam! 63. So, I haven't been able to do all that much today. It's been a very busy day at school and stuff, and uh, getting stressed out. But, I just gotta say, I love Feather Packs so much. I mean, I only have to do this a few more times, and I'll actually be done with all the feathers I need to buy. And I can't afford to do it too many more times in the first place right now, but that's that's amazing. And this is kind of a strange place to be getting this, but uh, 76 Dungeoneering. You know, I'm just here trying to get some Dungeoneering XP, and the game doesn't want me to... Alright, there's a Dungeoneering level. I can finally leave this place, be happy with where I am. So there's 78 done. And the really exciting thing is this guy, Charming Imp. Bye. Yeah, that's right. Hello. Hello there, friends. Alright, there is 65 defense out of the way. Now I'm going to do King's Ransom. And an HP level uh, just after that defense level. But I just finished my set now. So I've got the chunk, the shard, the splinter in my bank. Uh, there's my rock shell done. Alright, there is the full set done. So rock shell spines, rock shell. Spine gloves are somewhere. And then there's the sets. Got uh, eight Slayer VIP tickets now. Thanks to one round of Cabbage Face Punch. Getting the last room on Spirit's End on the first try. One food. That's nice. Alright, there's the uh, 
The big fish itself, deadliest catch taken care of. Ceramic bars freed, 64 HP, 300 quest points. All right, roll. All right, Ceridome and Stole, sure. I like the mill. Hey, first Slayer task done. Oh, I forgot that overlay was on. All right, boosted Slayer level. Let's get a task. Hopefully something good. Infernal Mages or Bronze Dragons? There's 65 farming. The last level I need for quest cape in this skill. 58 Slayer unlocks Cave Horrors. That's a pretty big level. It might not seem like much, but 55 attack means I can now use Hurricane. So that makes my uh, two-handed training all that much better. Third task, Hellhounds after second task, Fire Giants. That's some good melee XP. But I need to go get my uh, prayer to 60 real quick. 60 Slayer. Big level, got them Abbey Spectres unlocked. Big man over here. Looking beefy with his dogs. There we go. Cave Horror task. Let's get it. Slayer level and virtual level 1700. Or, I mean, total level 1700 too, of course. So, 10 task streak. 10 knocked out real quick. And Cave Horrors again. It's nice. First piece of the Master Runecrafter set. Alright, everyone. Day 21 ending off here. Very productive week. Got some uh, good stuff taken care of. Bone Crusher, Split Dragon Tooth, Charming Imp, T60, or I guess T50, Power Armor Sets, T60 Weapons, and uh, yeah, quite a few stats. 1708 total, 300 quest points. Sadly, won't be streaming tomorrow, or well, the day I upload this video. Got a lot of school stuff going on next week, fairly stressed out, but it'll probably still be Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams. Maybe Saturday, Sunday too. Uh, they'll just be shorter than normal. Anyway, thanks for showing up the streams, guys. If you have been, thanks for watching the video, sticking your way through it, and uh, I'll see you next week.